Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We're going to that horrible world known as JRC, but first, the disclaimers. All right, folks, in the description box, you are going to find a link to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It is written by Neuroclastic, a small non for profit started by autistics for autistics, where they interviewed over 900 ABA professionals from all over the world in regards to the Judge Rotenberg Center's quote unquote behavioral treatment program. In fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much that they have threatened Neuroclastic, again, a small non for profit which barely brings in 10000 a year with a defamation lawsuit. They do not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused. So, therefore, folks, because we be salty and we like the truth on this channel, please share that article on all social media and don't forget to read it. You're also going to see their public statement, Neuroclastics, in regards to the threat the JRC has laid down. And also down towards somewhere in the middle, you're going to find their GoFundMe link that we kind of all created together. Well, mainly it was Greg, but still, Greg got it going. We've been working on getting them crowdfunded, folks. So if you can spare anything, please do. If not, share on all social media just in case the JRC have the balls to see through their threat and prove what they do is an inhumane. Good luck. You're also going to find links to the situation with the Agape Boarding School, the over 19 lawsuits that have to do with improper restraints, torture, and sexual abuse. That have been going on since the place's induction in the 90s. Please go to those links. Take a look at the articles. Please share on your social media. You'll see a change.org petition to get signed to get this place closed down. You're going to see the other pertinent links as well to the Stop the Shocks campaign, in including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject. The templates and the ever-present self-explanatory shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss the JRC folks, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got children present, please use your headphones. It is 8.22 a.m. in the morning. I'm sort of awake, but I still might stumble over my words. So just, you know, warning in advance, all right? Okay, so let's go to where we left off yesterday morning. JRC's Director of Clinical Services states that less than 10% of the enrolled students are receiving a reinforcement-only program. 17 third bullet. Inside clearly misunderstood JRC's clinical director. What he actually told them was that approximately 10% of the student population has progressed to the point where they no longer need to have a staff monitor their behaviors using a recording sheet. Really? Because guess what? All the programs out here, we have recording sheets just on the day-to-day -day activities going on. Now, it is bizarre that, like, we, we monitor their behaviors. That's all you monitor. That's literally all you monitor is their behaviors. That's it. As if that's the only thing that matters. You're a fucking school. What about their school record? Are they improving academically? But their behaviors. The top 10% of JRC students have progressed so far with education and treatment that their education reward program resembles that of a non-special education student and therefore no longer requires daily recording of education progress and earned rewards. Are you fucking kidding me? You nowhere near resemble a normal school. Normal schools don't treat top students like you fucking treat them. Like, oh my god, you're reaching mile markers. You get a cookie. Not how it works in real high school, folks. Not even remotely close. You get those grades because you're expected 
to. You don't get a fucking special treatment for it. Because if that were true, I would have had special treatment my entire fucking school career. Okay? The entirety of it. The whole damn time. Because I made high marks every single fucking year. I didn't get a free time in the arcade for it. You know what I got for it? Time to put on your uniform and go to fucking work. That's what I got. Straight out of school. Got up at 4 a.m. every morning. Went to my college classes for the first half of the day. Did the normal high school classes at the end of the day. And then worked till about 10, 11, sometimes even midnight after that over at McDonald's. That's real high school for some of us. Okay? This is what I hate about the JRC. But we're not doing anything different. You are. There's a reason why you're being singled out, JRC. We're not picking on you. We're not bullying on you. There's a reason why you are singled out. There's a lot of reasons. There's over three decades of reasons. Just say. Moving on. 87. JRC's positive only intervention includes a token system in which students are awarded tokens for absence of exhibiting target behaviors and negatively reinforced by removal of tokens or privileges for behaviors. It was observed tokens are not awarded for exhibiting positive appropriate alternative behaviors. Oh God, here we go. This is not true. JRC students receive constant rewards for displaying positive behavior including rewards for sitting quietly, focusing on the task, appropriate eye contact, appropriate tone of voice, using his or her voice, following directions, working consistently, and interacting appropriately with others. These are only a few of the many behaviors rewarded with tokens. That's go, oh my God. There is so much wrong with that paragraph. Doing it appropriately. Uh, it, it makes me, like, have this urge towards violence every time I hear that. But, but you can't socialize appropriately. I've been having people, not saying any names, my hand, <coughs> been saying shit like that to me my whole goddamn life. These are the kind of people who don't understand what INSET is talking about here. We're not talking about giving us a fucking cookie like we're a fucking dog for sitting quietly and not bothering you while breathing and autistic. This is not what they're talking about. But these are alternative behaviors. No, they're not, JRC. No, they're not. No, they're not. But all of these things are is your fucking conditioning. It's what you think we should be like. And it's disturbing. You're not teaching them how to think for themselves. You're teaching them to be fucking robots to obey whoever happens to have authority over them without question. Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? People like us are already fucking targeted in the real world. You don't believe me? Look at the, what fucking A.H. did to Johnny. We're fucking targets. Yes, people even on that level. All of us are fucking targets. When you force them into a school like this, what does it precondition them to do? It makes them pray, folks. It makes them fucking pray. It sets them up to be used. And abused. And to never complain about it, never say a word, and just obey. These are not positive behaviors. 
These are behaviors drilled into them by abusers. Okay? What INSTED is referring to is completely on a different plane of thinking from what JRC considers positive. But they are talking about is actual real improvement with social skills. Having full-fledged spontaneous conversations with your peers, for example. Gaining friendships, interacting with the other students, not being kept from it. Using language in a modern context. You don't have to say a full sentence when somebody says, so what's your name, Tiffany? No, shock, say the whole sentence. Yeah. They're talking about actual interactions with other students academically moving along to be at the same level of their neurotypical peers and not having to live in fear. They're talking alternative behaviors where they will not be so afraid when something is wrong that they won't use their words. You see what I'm saying? There's a massive difference between what INSED would like to see and what the JRC calls positive behaviors. Massive difference. I, in fact, want to get into this a little. You can take a look at this program at the JRC, and if you look at it with jaded survivor eyes, what you see is a school that is grooming disabled students year after year after year. Grooming them to accept abuse, grooming them to obey without a question, grooming them to not react when horrific things are happening around them, to accept punishment, to always believe it's their fault. It's literal grooming, folks, on the face of it. And the fact that they use token rewards if if you behave appropriately, be a little good little robot, sit behind closed doors, be a good little disabled person, you just do whatever we tell you to do. Then maybe you get a cookie. It is extremely disturbing, folks. And they're using medicine and treatment to groom these kids. Many of the survivors who have come through the school have talked about how they've been in abusive relationships since. On that note, folks, I'm going to go ahead and close out for this morning. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time so please don't forget to hit that like button hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the comments i do appreciate your time this morning as always we here at spilling tea hope you have a good one bye, -bye.